My name is Rick and in this video I'll be showing you how to create a cron job with Ubuntu specifically for Modic. And if you guys are not familiar with the Modic project, it is a project that automates some of your marketing tasks. So let's go ahead and dig in here a little bit deeper into how we're going to set up these cron jobs and why we need to even set them up in the first place. So first of all, I will recommend you to go over to their documentation and go under uh, cron jobs. So cron jobs is over here at number 10. Cron jobs, and according to their documentation, it says Modic requires a few cron jobs to handle some maintenance tasks. So some of these maintenance tasks depend on whatever it is that you're doing. So for example, your lead list, your campaigns, and optionally uh, the mail uh, queue if you set that up for your setup. So uh, if you want these uh, cron jobs to be working properly, you need to set them up with your uh, hosting provider, and if you have uh, GoDaddy or DigitalOcean, whoever might be your uh, provider, they usually give you shell access. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do this to the shell, so no GUI tool. Um, so it, this only applies to version 1.1, 1.1 two of Modic. So if you don't have that version or if you have an older version or a newer version, you might want to check the documentation because things might have changed by now. But as of July 11, 2015, this is the latest stable version that is out. So whatever I do talk about applies to that version and possibly to older versions. But yet again, check your version, make sure this applies to you. Before getting started, you have to make a patch to the source code. Um, you can see the conversation on this link here that I provided that somebody brought up this attention right here. You will get this database uh, SQL uh, error if you don't apply this patch. So I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, how to apply this patch now. So if you go over to GitHub, um, you'll see the patch right here. And you need to go ahead and apply this to your server. So I'm going to go over to my server here. Let me see if I can make this right about there. And what we need to do is we need to do a couple things. Um, we need to figure out how we're going to go ahead and actually change this file. So I already know where I have my setup already, and mine is located here. Um, so make sure wherever you have your setup, you, you go and you find it where you have to go. So the first thing to do is you want to go into this app folder, and you'll see a bunch of things here. Um, so the first thing to do is you want to copy this whole entire thing bundles so vim into this bundles and you want to go to line 800 and right here as you can see I already went ahead and inserted this if statement so if list output right line yada 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 right so it's all the way down to here which is line 805 so from line 799 all the way to 805 make sure you copy and paste this source code right here so these two if statements so once you have those two, um, write and quit. Make sure you save that to that file. The next one you want to do is this um, message.ini file. So vim into that. And this one's going to be line 70. And again, I already did this. So as you can see, Modic rebuilds this list. There are no lists to rebuild this form. So I already did that already. So that was the, the, the next patch that you had to apply. So once you get those two completed, then the last thing to do is to run the cron tab uh, slash e. So if you guys are not familiar with the cron tab, I actually provided a link here for the documentation on Ubuntu. Uh, depending on your distribution of Linux that you're running, um, this would would vary on how to run this cron cron job. So go in here, learn all about it. If you want to run it at different intervals, this will teach you how the intervals work, when to run them, what command to run them, so on and so forth. So first up is that we have to go ahead and set up our cron tab to work specifically with the with the with the documentation that Modic provides for us. So as you can see here they tell us PHP path to Modic console Modic lead disk update environment production. So we're gonna go down here and as you can see I already have it here. No, please make sure you change the path to your path. This path is specifically for my application. So depending on what application you have and how you have set it up on your server, this path will be different. Both so that also applies to PHP because you can have PHP installed in many different places. So I'm going to go back in here and you guys know that I'm here already. So I'm going to do print working directory as you guys can see, var dub 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 social app. And as you can see, that matches perfectly up here. And as you can see, there's that console uh, file there. So again, make sure your PHP actually works. You can just simply paste that in and type in minus V. That should give you the PHP version on the server. Perfect. So now we're actually going to go ahead and do cron tab minus E. And this will open up this file. And what we want to do is we want to go all the way to the end of the file. And we want to go ahead and paste in uh, these 
three lines right there. And what this is saying, this is saying that the, this command is going to be running every single minute. And from what you can see here at the end, we're piping out to dev null 2 and percent 1. And what that's saying, that's pretty much saying to Linux, hey Linux, don't put this in a log file, don't put this anywhere, just run it. And the output, just go ahead and put it into pretty much uh, emptiness, which is that null. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and write this out. And that's pretty much it. You have to set it up your cron tabs, and this will be executing every single minute. Now, depending on your setup and your resources available to your server, you might not want this executing every minute. Maybe every one minute uh, is too much. Maybe you want to do it every hour or every 30 minutes. And this will depend on the workflow that you have. But for me, uh, this is uh, testing a server, so one minute's fine because I want to quickly see if it's working or not. So that's pretty much all there is to. Uh, cron tabs and cron jobs and modic so make sure you stay tuned for more videos if you enjoy modic videos make sure you give this video a thumbs up if this was helpful make sure you share it with your friends and we'll see you on the next one